What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? How are you doing today? It's your guardian with Skinny Boy Randy. Thank you so much for he being here. I hope you're having a great, growing, blessed, and prosperous day. If you're new to the channel, welcome to Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are always welcome. I love having you guys here, okay? Also, click subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just not two middle fingers, okay? Okay? Thank you so much for being here. Y'all, it's hot out here. It's really hot. It's on 7 in Richmond, Virginia. And I'm going to make this video short and sweet because I be done fell out. And came on back. Also, if I can't answer a question here, head on over to my Facebook group. That group is called Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. Those are some question answering people. Okay, okay. Thank you so much for being here, y'all. It's hot. So I'm going to just dive right into this video. Keep it short and sweet. 20 or more things that you can still plant right now in June. Okay, okay. Let's get started. So let's start off with your corn. You can start planting corn now and try to pick the shorter varieties that are going to mature in about 80 days. You can do the corn. I have some corn over there growing, if you guys can see it. <sighs> yeah. So you want to get your corn in the ground. Get your beans in the ground, whether your pole beans or your bush beans. I have beans going up the trellis. They just hit the first uh, piece of the trellis, so they're about to start wrapping around. Then you want to do a small variety of carrots. You can plant carrots. Try to do lady fingers or the little short carrots that don't take as long because they don't really like too much heat. So just go for a shorter, uh, smaller variety of carrot. And you can still sneak in some beets. I would try to put them in a shady area, but you can still do some root crops like your beets. Also, Swiss chard, kale, collards all will do just fine in june also get your tomato plants in the ground whether you're doing uh determinate or indeterminate try to get you some tomato transplants in the ground right now starting from seed will be a little risky you may be able to make it depending on what zone you live in but also get your peppers your eggplants uh you can still do potatoes and they'll be ready for you when the fall comes and you can do all of your squash your melons your zucchini um cantaloupe pumpkins cucumbers all these things can be started directly from seed because they don't take long to grow y'all i am really sweating and i hope i don't fall out and have to call now i'm on youtube okay but yes so also like i said your corn your okra you can do some herbs like your basil parsley oregano dill uh summer crisp lettuces yeah there are some lettuces that grow in the summertime you want to try to shoot for the like nevada variety or anything that can take the heat but there are some summer crisp lettuces that you can get in the ground also get your flowers in the ground you guys things like your marigolds your zinnias put them throughout your garden especially near your tomatoes and your peppers because they're going to help attract the pollinators the bees and they're going to help pollinate your squash and your zucchinis and all that good stuff so yeah make sure you plant some flowers so i think that's about it you guys uh how many things did we do so we said beans small carrots beets swiss chard kale collards tomatoes peppers eggplants potatoes uh squash zucchini watermelon cantaloupe pumpkins cucumbers uh get your flowers in the ground get you some corn and okra planted also your uh herbs like your basil parsley oregano and dill i don't recommend doing the cilantro because it bolts really fast in the sun so let me just walk you around and give you a little tour of some of the things that i just told you about okay so over here this is my fruit tree plant and in the the base of it i put sugar baby watermelons and they did great last year so as you can see, we have sugar baby watermelons, we have cantaloupes, all planted with the fruit tree, and they did just fine. And here are some eggplants. We have peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers are coming up nicely. We're saving seeds from, this was our choy. So... We're saving the seeds from that. That's why this area is tore up. And then we're going to replant some things down in there. And then you see some kale. We have broccoli. And I've already harvested some of that broccoli. Over here, we have our flowers I was telling you about. These are zinnias. We get those in the ground. These are my cabbages. They are huge 
saving seeds from our giant red mustard greens. This is our corn. And you guys, this is why I like to start my corn in containers. I didn't do it this time as an experiment because you never know what seeds are going to germinate and which ones don't. So when I start in containers, I know exactly the seeds that are good and viable and I can plant them directly in the rows. So let's go on over here. See our onions, they're starting to really get large. These are some lettuces that can take the heat. See that? More onions, more tomatoes. We have the peppers. And I have the water going, so I don't want to get too close to the camera. We have peppers, more tomatoes. These are our beans. They're just starting to go up the trellis. More cucumbers. Yep. And then over here, we're saving seeds from our... Look at these seed pods, you guys. They are huge. So we'll have more champion collards to grow next season. Now these are our root crops that we've already pulled up. Yeah. And these are going to be our watermelon beds over here. As you can see, they're just starting to vine and flower. So this one is doing extremely well. Mr. Ronald planted this one. I think it's a watermelon or either cantaloupe. But yeah, there you have it, you guys. These are all things that you can still be planting in June. Now, I'm going to get out of this heat, okay? Okay. But yes, you can plant all these things in June, whether you're doing it in containers or raised beds. You can do it. There is my okra. And then, as you can see, we have more tomatoes, strawberries. And all that good stuff. So there you have it, you guys. 20 plus things that you can be growing in June on your farm, just like we do here on the Skinny Boy Farms. So I hope this helps you out just a little bit. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, you guys. Oh, let me show you some of my seedlings. Squash, cucumbers, zucchini. Yeah, you guys, get those seedlings going. Sugar baby watermelon. All that good stuff. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to live, love, laugh, grow stuff, and eat it. You are the best. And don't forget to check out the Facebook group, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye-bye.